today we are making sweet potato puree which is very healthy and easy to make i have a sweet potato cleaned very nicely but still i'm going to uh, peel off the skin and wash it again because you know the skin has it's a root basically so the skin has a lot of mud so i filled it off and i'm going to chop it into pieces and those uh, skin and everything i'm going to use it for my compost wash it very nicely rinse it with water unless it's clean and you have to be very careful especially with the baby food there should not be any mud or soil to this take water i've taken one cup of water every sweet potato takes a different quantity of water and time to cook so to, uh, start with one cup and then you can add hot water if you need so whenever you feel the water quantity is needed add a hot water to this so the temperature is maintained i'm going to cover it make sure your pot is deep enough so there is an overflow it's not cooked yet so i've cooked for another like 7 to 8 minutes it will take more time another 5 minutes and again i say like don't look at the time because every sweet potato is different now if it's cooked you can mash it with a fork what some people do is they strain all the water and then mash it but i like to use this water it's a pure water with all the nutrients so i'm going to mash it in a pot only mash it very nicely and this uh, paste or puree of the sweet potato will absorb the remaining water so now i'm going to put a put the gas flame on very low and cover it and cook for another 2 minutes so this is the beautiful sweet potato puree you have you can uh, add it to uh, like pancakes you can add dry fruits to this you can add uh, rice you can add vegetables make different combination so this is a basic puree a sweet potato puree and you can add it to different uh, vegetables and rice uh, if you want to store it in the refrigerator make sure it's completely cool down and you can put it in a, a plastic container or ziploc bag but make sure it's cool down have a blessed day